How's it going everyone? This is Javita and we're going to do a quick video on traveling in Boundless. Uh, this was a video I wasn't quite sure if I was going to do, but after a conversation with uh, Enniles Lady and some comments from Cobbleton, I realized there was a place for this video, especially after my previous videos on how to orient portals correctly. So, for the sake of thoroughness, there is walking with the basic movement keys. This can be changed to running with the configurable modifier key such as shift. And you can also double tap any direction to run in said direction. Currently, there is no limit to how long you can run, but I would expect in the future that this would be tied to some sort of stamina mechanic. Next up, we have some basic navigation tools. Uh, the main navigation in Boundless is done via coordinates. Uh, each block is one meter squared, so the coordinates are in meters. At any time, you can open up your inventory, and at the top there are tabs. There is one for locations. You can go here anytime to see your current location, as well as save it for later use. If you are on the same planet as a saved location, you can also right click on it and set it as a landmark, which simply put is a waypoint. The coordinates are broken up into three numbers, the first number being the X axis, which is east to west. Next is the Y axis, which is your elevation or how high or deep you are in the world. And then finally the Z axis is the north to south direction. If you are trying to travel to some coordinates that are not saved as a saved location, just keep in mind that traveling east will increase your X coordinate as well as west will decrease it. Likewise traveling south will increase your Z coordinate as well as north decreasing it. It's also important to note that the world of Boundless is both seamless and borderless. The coordinates travel all the way from negative 2,304 to positive 2,304. Moving along to the more advanced forms of travels, first off we have warps. This is the first form of interplanetary travel in Boundless. Warps require warp conduits, a saved location in which to travel to, as well as coins. If you are traveling alone, you can simply use the warp conduits in the Sanctum. However, you can travel with as many people as you like by building warp conduits in the World of Boundless. Uh, simply keep in mind that warps once opened will only stay open for about one minute. If a warp is not used within this allotted time, it will go into a dormant state at which it can be reopened to the same location for free. It is also important to note that warp conduits are one-time use and will not persist on either side of the warp once used. The one exception to this are the warp conduits in the Sanctum. Furthermore, the price of warping is based on the number of planetary hops. This is the number of planets the warp has to travel to in order to get to its destination. Thus far, there are three types of worlds in the universe of Boundless. There are the starting worlds, where everybody starts on, and each starter world then has a isolated moon and a connected ring world. So if I wanted to travel from the starter planet of Solum to the starter planet of Thirka, it would take a total of three hops since the warp would have to travel through the ring world of Solum, then to the ring world of Thirka, and then finally to Thirka itself. It is also important to note that the ring worlds are set up in an arc, and therefore a warp may travel through one or more ring worlds to get to its destination. Additionally, if you're traveling with others, the warp conduit requirements increase with each hop. All of this information can be viewed via the conduits in the Sanctum or by placing at least one warp conduit in the world. To obtain locations for other planets to warp to, you can either craft the one-time use warp location picker upgrade for the totem or trade locations with other players the latter being much cheaper. It is important to note that this upgrade acts as ammo for the totem and is dragged and dropped onto it. 
if the totem is loaded with more than one upgrade, they will both be consumed on use. Once loaded, the totem is used much like a laser pointer to attain a saved location from a visible planet. Next up we have portals. These are persistent warps that last as long as they are fueled. Portals require a fair amount of infrastructure to build and maintain. Portal conduits are made from refined stone, timber, and spark. Portal fuel, or warp shards, are extracted from rough ort stones attained from hunting roadrunners or high-tiered animals found on moons and ring worlds. Portals require a large amount of shards to open and then a small amount each hour based on the number of hops involved. Also, the conduit requirements for portals mirrors those of warps. To set up a portal, conduits must be placed on both sides and in the same shape. You may start on either side, however be sure to open the portal from the side closest to your home as this will be the only side where fuel can be added and reopened in the event that fuel runs out. Once you have placed the side that will not be fueled, open it up and grab the portal token and then travel to the other side that will be fueled. Open up the conduits and place the token and the fuel in their respective slots. Once the token is placed, the UI will tell you the number of conduits and shards needed to open, as well as the hourly cost to maintain it. Finally, when all the requirements have been satisfied, you can click open and break the portal open with a tool when it turns green. An important side note is that you can make a portal so that when entered from any given cardinal direction, you can be facing any other cardinal direction. In other words, you can enter a portal facing north and come out facing west. I have already made a guide complete with a video on the boundless forms to obtain the exact orientation you desire, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Anyway, I think that pretty well wraps it up on both navigation and travel in the world of Boundless. I hope you found this video helpful. This was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like it. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down in the comments. Until next time, peace.